have seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight king. And now our tale of the day for this Bantamweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. That's a weight division. It's a decent first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Alba I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Aldo gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Aldo's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Single collar tie there. Ooh, what a punch. His hands are down, hey. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. Powerful leg kick lands. Good fight here under two to go. Okay, both guys really throwing with authority. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, single collar tie here. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh! Missed with that right hand. The left hook has not missed yet. He has to keep throwing that hook. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alba. That is a 
huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to get too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Round two next. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, blocks the shot. Way to hide that leg kick. Visibly limping here. Keep busy, low kick. Real nice body to play. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Nice head kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 32 total strikes have landed for Jose Aldo. And landing with 35% accuracy here against Jose Aldo. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Let's get going now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive by the Lesson one, hands up, chin down. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Punches one. Big ball punch man. Now we get back to range. Big hook. Big hook. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Punch coming. It's blocked. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Good jab. Very nice leg kick there by Alba. Right, it looks like speed. Settle down. Listen. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks Ready? in the previous round, we'll see Ready? if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. A oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Aldo. Nice. Well, 
he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And there it is, that patented Jose Aldo leg kick again. You know, Andre Pedernera's talked a lot about Aldo getting back to that weapon. He's got to like what he's seeing out of Jose tonight. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted action, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Great punch. Nice, sneaky headshot. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Hook attempt now, blocked though by O'Malley. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. here, it's no good. O'Malley gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, call it tie. O'Malley's oh, uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. One more strike. This guy, okay? Too risky. You cannot trade with this guy anymore. You're going to take this fight. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat yep. records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. That was a nice strike. Connects with a right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, there we go. Oh, an obvious oh, limp there. He's for certain. Big punch lands through the middle. Big leg kick land. Oh, oh. Round and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 
Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. up again here, but Burton. Nice straight punch. Straight right, he misses. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Huge block there. Just out of range with that left hook. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Back and forth we go. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, Gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our yes, next sir, guys, round good. gets good. underway. The previous round were confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Big punch land. And look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh! He's out! Tower! Oh my goodness! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop in this contest at 57 seconds of round number five. Including the winner by knockout, Sugar Sean All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.